Hi everybody and welcome back to another sound video. This time we're going to look at the vowel sounds O and O. First of all, we'll practice the pronunciation, we'll have a look at the typical spelling and also some exceptions to the spelling of these two sounds. All right, let's get started. So remember that when we talk about sounds and when we write them using the phonemic symbols, we use slashes to differentiate them from the letters from the alphabet. Sometimes they look very similar. Okay, let's get started. First of all, we're going to have a look at the vowel sound O. Oh. Now this is a short vowel sound. You can see that because there are no two dots to indicate that it's long. And the pronunciation is O. Oh. O. Oh. O. Oh. For example, as in shop. Not. Body. I'm sure you've seen these words before, they're quite simple, all spelled with an O and the sound is O. Oh. So like I said, the typical spelling here is using the letter O, but the pronunciation is O. Oh. Here are some more examples. Long. Stop. Sorry. Hot. Box, clock, orange, a lot. All of those are short O oh sounds. So you could just rewind and practice this again. So this was fairly easy. There are not many exceptions. We only really have a couple of words where we have an O oh sound spelled with the letter A instead. But I'm sure you know these words. We have, for example, what, want, watch, and wash. So these are not ah sounds, these are all ah sounds as well. What, want, watch, wash. Okay, you might want to go back and just practice the short ah once more before we move on to the long ah sound. This is a little bit trickier, I'm afraid. Now let's have a look at the long vowel sound O. Oh. So I often think of them as pairs. We have O oh, and then we have O. Oh. So you could just hold this for as long as you have breath. O. Oh. Okay, it's just a long version really of the sound that we had before. Um, Americans pronounce it slightly different. It's a little bit more wide open, but I'm going to stick to the British pronunciation here. So the pronunciation is ah, ah, ah. For example, more, talk, daughter, water. So you might think, mm, doesn't that sound sound a little bit different in the different words and um, yes it might be slightly different that is because vowel sounds are influenced by the sounds before and after them but it is still always a long o oh, and not any of the other vowel sounds let's have a look at the typical spelling next usually we have the spelling O-R. This is a very common spelling pattern for the sound R. Oh. For example, here are some words. Short, or, for, more, boring. So you might think or, isn't that the spelling? Yes, but or as an and or that. It's also a word, okay? Just O-R. So short, or, for, more, boring. You can actually hear it when we say them all in one go. It's the same sound in each of the words. Now, there is also another spelling pattern that is very common, and that is the spelling pattern A-L or A-double-L. And there are many words, and I'm sure you know all of them, but maybe 
you didn't pronounce them correctly up until now. So let's have a look at the first two. Talk, walk. Now you've noticed that I put a little um, yellow circle under the L here and that is because the L here is silent. There is no L sound at all. The AL spelling in these two words is a long O sound with a silent L. Talk, T, A, K, and walk, B, A, K. For the rest of the words, the L letter is pronounced as a L, okay? So that is different. So let's say the two words again. Walk, talk. I said them the wrong way around, but I'm sure you've noticed. Okay, let's practice the other ones. False, already, ball, call, tall, fall, small, wall, mall, all. It's quite funny how many <laughs> words in English have that spelling pattern. You could write a little poem because they all rhyme. They have the same last sound. So if you want to go back and practice them once more, please do. We're going to move on to another spelling pattern. Now there is another common spelling letter, um, spelling pattern for the sound and that is A-U or sometimes even A-U-G-H. So four letters all compressed to really one long vowel sound only. Let's have a look at some examples. Author, audience, cause, autumn, audio, automatic. Now, a lot of these words are cognates in other languages. Cognates are words that are spelled almost the same and that have the same meaning. I know there are some um, Spanish words and some French words and Italian words that are spelled very similarly and they have the same meaning because really they all come from the original same language, not English in this case. And most of the time those languages, AU would be pronounced as AU. The same is true in German. Uh, another language I speak here, they would say Autor, but not in English, okay? So AU spelling is pronounced with a long A sound, not AU. That would be a diphthong. We'll cover them later on, not in this video. But here it's just an A sound. Author, audience, cause, autumn, audio, automatic. And I've just realized autumn, I know this is the British English word for the season when the leaf starts falling, but in American English, of course, you would say fall. But the funny thing is, we had this word before, actually. It is also pronounced with a long R sound. So though we use a different word in the two countries and like sort of languages, um, we actually use the same sound. That is a funny coincidence, I think. And then we also have the, the other two words with the spelling A-U-G-H, daughter and caught. Daughter, caught. Caught is the past simple form of catch. Now, daughter, I think, is a good example to see how unlogical English spelling and pronunciation often is because here we have a word with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight letters, but really only four sounds because we have a D, an A, a T, and an U, a schwa sound at the end. We're going to talk more about the schwa in the next coming weeks. Daughter, caught. Okay, good. Let's have a look now at some, I wouldn't call them exceptions. These are just less common spelling patterns. So here we have AW, looks a little bit like the AU that we just had. And the sound is the same, it's a long O again. For example, law, lawyer, saw, awful, meaning terrible, and Awesome, meaning very good. 
they look very similar in spelling, they sound similar, they have a very different meaning though. So once more, law, lawyer, saw, awful, awesome. Awesome. I think you are repeating those words. I'm imagining that and I think you're doing well. Okay, another less common spelling pattern is OU. But again, these words are actually very common words. I sure, I'm very sure you've seen these before. Course, for, your, tour, resource, court. Let's do them one more time course, for, your, tour, resource, court. Good, okay, but that's not it, I'm afraid. There are many different ways of spelling the sound. In fact, while I was preparing, I thought, oh my gosh, those are a lot of different spelling patterns. Um, another less common spelling pattern could be A, as in water, a R, warm, war, or O A, abroad, abroad meaning outside your country, and board. Once more, water, warm, war, abroad, board. Very good. Last but not least, one more or less common spelling pattern, and that is O-U-G-H. Looks a little bit similar to A-U-G-H. We just had this in court and daughter. So here it's just O-U-G-H, but it's the same sound. And all of those are forms of irregular verbs in the past simple or past participle form. So we have bought from the verb to buy thought from the word think and brought from the verb to bring. Let's practice once more. Bought, thought, brought. Very good. If you find remembering irregular verbs difficult, check out one of my videos on irregular verbs. I created a little simple video to help you remember the different patterns and also a meditation video that will help you learn all the irregular forms in no time while you relax. I'm going to link to them in the comment section. Wow, that was a long practice. Now let's see how much you remember and how much you've learned. Test yourself. Which word does not contain a? Oh. Top, most, pot, lost, cost, shop. And the answer is most. Most has an O sound. This is a diphthong. So most is the right answer. All the other words have an O sound. And another test for our second sound. Which word does not contain all? Boring, call, saw, word, audio. And the answer is word. Word has an er sound. Now this sound was covered in my previous video. If you want to learn more, make sure to check it out. Well done everybody. Please visit my channel and have a look at the other videos on sounds. Please like, share and subscribe.